Hi, in this session, I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic chart title. And right now I have the pivot table and a pivot chart. And this could work if you're creating a regular chart in Excel, but I'm going to use a pivot chart for this example. So let's say that you wanted to have a chart show the title change when you select uh, different years. So let's say we select 2004 and you see the chart title changes year 2004. Let's go back to all here. So let's go ahead and just copy this table. I'll bring it over to another sheet. And that was control C and then basically or control V or just collect, select the, uh, click the uh, paste icon there. And now I've got my table here. I'm going to create a pivot table for that. Uh, let's see, you can go inserts. You can select anywhere in, in the table just as long as there's no blanks here. Go to insert, pivot table and I'll put it on the existing worksheet. Let's just put it in cell F2 here. And now I'll just kind of populate this pivot table. I'll have the year in the report filter, the month in the row label, product in the column labels, sales, and the sum values. So now I've got my little pivot table here. Let's create a pivot chart from there. I can either click the pivot chart or press Alt. F1 together, that creates your default chart. And I'll close this pivot filter pane. And I like to clean up my charts a little bit, and so I'll delete the grid lines there. So with the pivot chart selected, we have our pivot chart tool. So I'll go under layout and add a chart title, add it above the chart. So what I want to do here first is probably in a different cell create a formula that will reference the changing uh, values in a cell. So I'm going to start by just indicating the year oops, with an equal sign and put year and that's text that you want to kind of stay static. For text you want to kind of stay static you have or in the in a formula bar you need to have it enclosed in quotes. So I'll put year space or maybe a colon space closing uh, quotes. Did I say parentheses first? Open open quotes and then close quotes. And then the ampersand. So what the ampersand, ampersand does is it joins uh, whatever other um, value you want. And we want the changing value in cell G1. So I'll go ahead and select that and press control enter to stay in the same cell. And you see now that if we select a different value here, that changes. right? But the title here is still the same. All right. So what we want to do now, oops, let me uh, go back and insert that title, chart title above chart. So now with the solid line selected, um, you need to have solid lines. That would be that would indicate that you wanted to change some formatting in there. If you just wanted to change the text, you click inside, you see how it becomes uh, dotted lines now. But let's get back into the solid lines. And we either can go into the formula bar itself and select it or just press F2. It will take us to the formula bar. And we want to reference this cell. So we put an equal sign there and just reference that cell. Press Enter. And now we have our dynamic title. So whenever we change our year, it changes in that cell and also reference it. It changes here. So let's say that we really want the title to be static, but we want uh, something else to indicate that it's a changing value. Well, you can also insert a text box um, and keep the title static. So let's say that we want to keep the title static. And we want to say uh, this is uh, product product sales. So we want to keep that that static. So we have product one, two, and three. And we wanted to have another value, another text that would indicate the dynamic uh, changes. Well, what we can do is just go under insert and insert a text box. And it's really similar to inserting the title. And here, go ahead and uh, need to press F2. See how it changes into a solid line. That's, that's You can actually select it or just press F2 and get into the formula bar and make an equal sign and reference that and press enter and now we see that 
now we have the text box that reference a dynamically changing value. So now that's year 2002, year 2006. And the nice thing about this too is you, you're able to add to it. So let's say that we wanted to reference uh, changing values in January. So uh, what we would do here in this example, I use an example of moving the month into the report filter. Now we have another changing value here. And this changes, if we change it to February, uh, it will show us a product sales for February, right? But let's say that um, we want to show it in the title. So what we can do is go back here and say, and add another uh, join. So it, and, and then we can just say, you can type in parentheses month colon space, not parentheses, quotes, open quotes, close quotes. And then now another join and select the cell where the months will be changing. Go ahead and press enter or control enter to stay in that cell. And now we have it changing. You'll notice that uh, you probably have to adjust this a little bit. So let me just show you over here. We change it to February. It does change here. So since this these text is constrained by the size of the box, we might need to move it a little bit and move this out. And there we see our values here changing. So we say, let's say we want uh, 2001 in Feb. And you can see right here, there's probably some adjustment that we need to make to show that there's a space between there. Or we can just put in uh, a separator symbol, something that's something that separates it. So in between the value where it has the year and the month, let's put in another join. Maybe we'll put in a, uh, a pipe. So we do an open quotes space, a pipe, space, and a close quote. So kind of something to separate it a little bit. Press enter, and now we've separated it. See, sun. So now we see year 2001, month February. And uh, this is a reference cell. We might not want to see have this show up. So what we can do is we can either make the, select it and make the text uh, white, so it kind of disappears, um, or let me go back. Or we can just hide that cell. Just select the col or hide the uh, column or row that it's in. So you can hide the column, do a um, right click when you select on the column heading, and just click hide. And so it disappears. So when now we're changing it, we don't see where it's referencing. But we can see the titles change. So there you go, dynamic chart titles. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.